thank you. I'm not used to this, so I'm going to have to read, and I appreciate y'all listening to me. Are you kidding me? Can this really be happening in the United States of America? The home of the brave and the land of the free? I should not have to be here today. I am the daughter of a retired United States Marine Corps officer pilot. I have red, white, and blue running through my veins. I'm a true American just like you, and I knew it was time for me to speak up. This national animal ID system shouldn't even be an issue. So many brave soldiers have already fought and died for our freedom. This is disgraceful. I should not have to be standing here before you trying to preserve our freedom. All of America needs to know exactly what the national animal ID system really is. Our big government and some big corporations and associations are seeing some big dollar signs right now in a national animal ID system. They're saying to heck with the small farmers and ranchers. Our livelihood, our freedom, our privacy, and our property rights. It's unreal. They want us to pay them a fee now to own a farm animal. They want to make us register our farms and ranches. They want us to hand over all of our personal farm information. They want us to get a premise ID number for our ranches. And if we don't, House Bill 1361 says we could face up to a thousand dollar a day fine. which for some reason no farmer or rancher that I know even knew was coming down the pipe. Who knew? Some big lobbyists for some big corporations. And we were blindsided. That law gave the Texas Animal Health Authority a commission full authority to force us to register our farms and get a premise ID number or be fined. Now, they've chosen to postpone enforcing that because we raised cane, but make no mistake, you guys, they can choose to enforce that law any time. Some people were even signed up without their knowledge. Are you kidding me? What is going on? Our own tax dollars were used against us. Over $85 million of our money was distributed to a bunch of big associations and organizations to promote this nonsense. They tried to make us think that nice is the greatest thing since sliced bread. They tried to make us sound like we were just exaggerating the dangers and that all of our fellow members of these associations were all for it. The fact is, we weren't even polled for our opinion. They also used fear tactics, tactics about disease and bioterrorism to scare everyone. Are you kidding me? Terrorists would hit those huge factory farms before they would hit my family farm. I want to talk to you about horses for a moment. I've known horses all my life. We raise horses. We own them. We pay for them. They are our private property. I have never known a single person that got a disease from a horse. I don't eat horses, and I don't export them either. Well, besides making us pay a fee to register our ranch, they also want us to insert a foreign object into our horse's necks. A microchip. Not a theft prevention microchip, mind you, which a lot of people think it is. A different kind of microchip. 
And guess what? They want us to pay for that too. My horses cannot drive. They don't go any place alone. They are behind me in my trailer when I go to a rodeo or a barrel race. So who will they be tracking? Now think about that for a moment. I don't know about you, but I would call that warrantless surveillance. On top of all that, they want me to send them a written report of trips with my horses within 24 hours. Are you kidding me? It's none of the government's business which rodeo or barrel race I go to. I have not committed a crime. I am not on probation. You know, they don't know what the long-term effects are going to be on their health, but really, they don't care about me and my horses. They only see dollar signs. They don't care that microchips can contain viruses or be reprogrammed. They don't care that we cannot afford a bale of hay or fuel to run our tractors right now. They don't care about the grandma with a backyard flock full of laying hens that has to catch every one of them to see which leg band the coyotes ate. Are you kidding me? They don't care if the small farmers and ranchers go out of business. Why? Because the big corporate ranches and factory farms will be our only food supply. And make no mistake, people, he who controls our food supply controls us. this plan. The whole thing is about money. They keep telling us, this will be good for you. But they haven't told me how. Come on! Disease has been on this earth for millions of years. We already have great stop measures, immediate quarantines, and great trace, trace back for our sick farm animals. Except, of course, for all the wild animals and insects, like the feral hogs, the coyotes, the mosquitoes, the flies. How about tracking them? Are you kidding me? They can't even track the illegal aliens in this country. It's a crying shame and a ruse to get more money, steal our freedom and property rights, track every detail of our lives, and keep us from being self-sufficient on the family farm. It's an unprecedented, daring invasion of our privacy, and they are counting on non-farm people and town folks to remain uneducated on this subject while they push their agenda through under the auspices of disease fears. Don't let it happen. Don't let your children and your grandchildren ever ask you, why you stood by and did nothing when the government was taking our freedom and privacy and our right to freely own a farm animal in America. Thank you.